So this is a really cool story. The Navy SEAL Foundation's SEAL Swim, which benefits active duty members, veterans, and their families, took place this weekend. The traditions in the SEAL teams is one of the ways we respect our fallen, our heroes, as we do hard workouts, intense workouts, as a, a way to pay homage. You guys might have heard of the Murph in honor of Michael Murphy. Well, today we're blessed at this event, thanks to the Navy SEAL Foundation, so joining us now to tell us all about the event, SEAL teammate veteran and founder and director of Navy SEAL Foundation, NYC SEAL Swim, Bill Brown. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Oh, Bill, great to have you with us. So tell us about the event. How did it go? It was a great day. Um, we had a lot of SEALs, over 100 SEALs. We had over 30 gold stars. We had hundreds of veterans. We had hundreds of police officers, firefighters, a lot of patriots all came together for a great cause to send a patriotic message of unity for our country, to remind everybody how beautiful our country is, how beautiful we are as a people. We swam to the Statue of Liberty. We did 100 push-ups, 22 pull-ups to honor our nation's freedoms and civil liberties. We swam to Ellis Island. We did 100 push-ups, 22 pull-ups, honor our nation's diversity, all the men and women who came to our country for a better life. We swam to South Cove Marina in Lower Manhattan, got a bunch of American flags, had them real high, ran into the World Trade Center. We did 100 push-ups, 22 pull-ups at the World Trade Center to honor all those lost on 9-11 and all those who put it on the line for our country. It was a great and epic event. All right, Bill, that sounds epic. I'm exhausted just listening to... <laughs> the physical feat of this, what, how did you come up with this? And like, why is it, uh, you know, 100 push-ups and 22 pull-ups? Like, what is the meaning or the significance behind those numbers or those activities? Well, I served with a, a famous SEAL named David Goggins. We went through uh, Buds together. We did some stuff in Iraq together. And he did something that had a big impact on me. Um, he ran uh, these ultra thons, one through Death Valley, where he raised a lot of money for another great group called the Warriors Foundation. Mm -hmm. And so that had a big impact on me when I was at Rutgers in undergrad, myself and Efren Gonzalez ran from Rutgers Camden to Rutgers New Brunswick straight right up Route 130, took us 11 hours, 33 minutes. And we raised money for a scholarship we started there. So uh, one of the things I believe is I believe when good people come together and they do something fun, it kind of sends a good message, a good positive message, something that our country needs right now. Mm -hmm. So those previous events, David Goggins and my run at Rutgers had a big impact in making this happen. Wow, it's so inspiring. So tell us what attracts so many SEALs, veterans and police and officers and firefighters to participate in the NYC SEAL swim? Well, in the SEAL community, one of the things we love to do is we love to, uh, one of the ways we pay respect for our brothers that were lost is we do hard workouts. And one of those is the, the Michael Murph. Michael Murph was a SEAL who was killed and he got the Medal of Honor. We call it the Murph. And so it's a tradition that we have in the SEAL community that I basically brought to New York City and, and New Jersey. And you know what, my... Uh, my brothers from across the country, from as far as Hawaii, come every year. You know, it's a great way. I can tell you this, guys. The Statue of Liberty is beautiful. But when you're swimming right underneath it with a bunch of American warriors and patriots, it is beautiful. And you see that, 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 uh, that torch of freedom up there and, and what it stands for. And the Statue of Liberty is beautiful. But what she symbolizes is even more beautiful. And that's what brought so many, uh, the ideas in the Constitution of life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, equality, due process. These are beautiful ideas and one of the reasons why our country is so exceptional. And so, and to celebrate our nation's diversity at Ellis Island. And one of the things that makes our country so beautiful is the fact that so many, our country is made out of every, every part of this planet. So many different people come from this, from all across the, the planet to, come to America to, to celebrate our life, way of life, our freedom, civil liberties, and even New York City, swimming into New York City skyline, 8 million people plus, one of the media capitals of the world, one of the uh, corporate capitals of the world, one of the financial capitals of the world, uh, to, to run there and, and to hold American flags high into the World Trade Center where you know so many beautiful Americans were lost and how we rallied together. As a SEAL, I was a SEAL on 9-11, 
And so to, to come back home and to have an event like that is a beautiful thing. And to be honest with you, it brings a lot of uh, leadership at FDNY and NYPD and PAPD that they were they were there on 9-11. They were serving on 9-11 like I was. And it's part of the healing process for us. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of us went to war because of it. And to have, you know, we had um, Bernie Carrick, who was the commissioner of NYPD during 9-11 speak this year. Tim Brown, who was a leader at the FDNY during 9-11 speak this year. John Ryan, who's a leader in PAPD during 9-11 speak this year. And to have those gentlemen, those leaders and those various outfits speak at the event to a lot of us who went to war after 9-11, it helps us. It, it's, it's really part of the healing process because it helps us really understand some of the side of things at home that we really didn't see. And to hear those stories is very good for us. It's a beautiful, it really is a beautiful thing. That is incredible. Um, Bill, you also do something um, called adventure therapy. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I believe that when, you know, everybody goes through different things, you know, Mm -hmm. no one gets, everyone has a, a cross to bear. No one gets out of this thing easy. We all get banged up in life. And just like you ever go through something and your buddy makes a joke and it helps relieve a little bit of tension. Mm -hmm. Well, I think when you do fun events like this, just good people come together, having some athletic fun event for a good cause. I call it adventure therapy because we like to come together and we like to have fun and we like to do athletic things. So I call it adventure therapy. I'm a big, big believer in it. You know, I think, you know, uh, I can be having a bad day. But if I go out and I go for a little jog or if I hit the gym, you know what? I feel a little better. And I think one of the most beautiful things about that is, and this is one of the things my uh, my buddy David Goggins put out in a couple of his books, is that one of the beautiful things we can do is we all go through really tough times. But if we can turn that that sadness and that grief or that anger and we can turn it into something positive, I think it's so beautiful. And that's one of the cool things about working out and exercising or even, you know, going out and doing something good for your neighborhood or, or, or somebody else is you, you turn something that was a negative into a positive. And that's what adventure therapy is all about. That's what the New York City SEAL Swim is all about. And I'm very grateful for the Navy SEAL Foundation because they really got on board. It's just a massive logistical lift. You think about it. Literally, we had 300 swimmers swimming across the Hudson. At, uh, it's a huge lift making sure everybody's safe. And we had a lot of help from New Jersey State Police, FDNY, PAPD, um, NYPD, the Coast Guard, uh, Battery Park, Liberty State Park. Without all those great groups coming together, this wouldn't happen. And so I think it's a beautiful thing. I really believe in adventure therapy, guys. And I'm telling you, if you're going through something, if you get in an argument with a friend or something at work, I'm telling you, if you go to the gym, you go for a little jog, it's going to be better. And they clear your head, you get in a little shape and you come back. And, and to me, that's what it's about. That's how now I you're a hundred, a hundred percent right. Just that little bit of movement. It gets that negative energy out. It clears your mind and you can come back to the table ready to rock. And it also helps you make, it looks better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, Bill, tell us, can citizens participate or is this only reserved for those who have served? No, you know what? We're we're all in this together, guys. So absolutely. We call it patriots, citizens, non-seals, non-veterans, non-police officers or firefighters. Absolutely. We love you guys. And you know what? The only the number one thing here is safety. So I just I'm okay. It's all doors open to everybody. I just you have to be able to swim. We have a pretty kind of serious uh, vetting process to make sure everybody in that water is good to go. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, the Hudson is no joke, no joke. This is it takes months and months of training and the swims impossible if we don't get it dialed in just right. And we work a lot with the New Jersey State Police, NYPD, PAPD, Coast Guard, FDNY to make sure it's safe for everybody. Excellent, excellent stuff, Bill. It sounds like an incredible event. Like I said, I'm exhausted listening to you. I'm not a strong swimmer, so, uh, but you know, you can also make a donation at the website. It's going to be NavySealFoundation.org. 
Uh, Bill Brown, thank you so much for joining us this morning and your time and your enthusiasm and passion for this. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. You too.